Hey guys, it's Transformers 337, and I'm doing a review on Transformers Energon Prowl. So to show you, here he is. He's a complete 360 of them. Do not like that feature. Don't like that. I don't like how Energon has that. But there, here he is. Very cool figure. Rotate. Um, before I go on the figure, go over and the gimmicks that Energon and this guy has and. But anyway, for articulation, his arms can go up and down like that. Ball joint there, so it can rotate, bend, and pop off. Only on camera. Mm -hmm. This is going to take a while. Anyway, all right, I got it. Um, Head cannot do any movement. It can only look up. But, I don't know, don't like that so much. Legs, can't go be forward, can go back a lot. But that's it. Um, if you move the arm out of the way, it can go up. Knee joint, well. Knee joint there. And you do have an inverted knee joint. And you also have that, so you can do that. Um, foot movement like that, but do the transformation. But anyway, so I guess I'll show you the first gimmick that Energon always all of them had was this port, where it would have if you're a Decepticon in here it would have a Decepticon symbol, an Autobot, Autobot symbol, which if you can look in there it does have an Autobot symbol. And all we do is have this little engine on star thing plug on there. Then when that happened, all of a sudden you see um have this weapon. It's a clear weapon. It would fire. If I can find it now. But and this way would be like their ultra powerful weapon. And can hold it in his hand. You can e you can either load him up with weapons, so if you want to have an arm cannon, be like that, like Megatron, but I don't know. Um, so here is his bullet. Very like genic. And if you really want, you can make him have a mate or a sword looking thing. Be like, ah! Anyway. Take all that out. Again. Now he's armless. Anyway, to show you gets just so my overall so for again like this he does he does they make his fist into a heel spurs which I do like and in the show if you guys seen on John he was short but you can make him taller to show you the comparison here's him being taller I really don't like that I rather have a show accurate so I make him short like that Anyway, I do like his soldier pads like that. This is how he did look in the show. I don't like this though, how it looks like the legs are built into the body. But whatever, it's generous energon. Um, all the Autobots had this symbol on them, every single one that I have so far do. But yeah, very cool look, cool figure. For... Um, and another gimmick Energon had was they could turn from pants, they could super link, basically what they called it. They can go from pants to shirt and vice versa. But anyway, so I'll show him, while I transform him into pants, I will tell you about his repaint. And so, if you guys don't want to listen to me, then just look at this, I'll do this slowly. So, um... For repaints, they re did repaint him along with Rodimus Prime, or Rodimus, into a SWAT team. Which basically was the same deco, just white. That's basically what it was, was white. It was like, I think, I think he had like a, Rodimus had a fused Autobot symbol in the middle of his chest. Something like that.
I don't remember, honestly. But again, so here he is in um pants mode. What I like doing, because you don't really have any place to put that arms. So what I'll do is I'll put him like that. To kind of have his leg definition. Which, yeah, it does hinder the articulation a little, but not much. So we'll just do it in regular mode, but that is basically and I don't know if this was out in transformation or they were closed. I will guess I would have maybe have to do an update video. I will put that back on eventually. But for articulation, his legs do go up about that much. Can go can't go back, but can go up and down. Still got that. And now he has a double knee joint, so you could be like that and like that. He kinda has a double knee joint, kind of. I can do that now. No ways, but that's really much it though for articulation and pants mode. So I guess I will show you. Let me first put his arm back in. And I think it's just mine, just the quality control on it. But so from pants, we'll go into shirt, which all you have to do flip them around. So you take that, put the arms like that. Push those in, unextend them, have the gold pieces face it outward, and bend them down. Do the same thing to the other side, rotate, rotate. Um, so I guess while I finish this up, I'll talk. Um, guys, this is a definitely a great, great figure. Um... If you guys heard of Transformers Animated, they did make come out in 2009, I think it was, on Cartoon Network. Um, that was the, Everybody says you either had to love it or hate it. I hated it, so I didn't get any of those figures, so you won't see me do any figure reviews of that. But, I don't know. But, anyway. So, but, uh, Energon is basically the same thing. Because I know people who hated it, but I also know people who loved it. So I'm one of those few fortunate people who loved it. But again, here is Prowl in his shirt mode. And I know I do have Inferno, but I don't like the way he looks with Inferno. So I'm going to keep him like this. But he would have pants, which you would connect via these ports on someone else. They're all of them. Every Autobot had. The Decepticons had. Like hyper mode. But yeah. Anyway, but here he is. You can extend his arms, but I don't like that. For articulation, his arms can go up and down like that. Can go up and down, in and out, bend at the elbow. No hand movement unless you can't like that. But Head, same thing as normal. Nothing much. But anyway, here is Prowl. And I'll transform him into car mode. I don't think I did showed you guys that yet. So while I do that, I will just show you guys. I'll, while I do that, I'll show. I'll tell you guys my overall recommendation. My overall recommendation of this figure would have to be get it if you like Energon. Get it if you like Prowl. I don't know. I, I I did like I like Prowl. I think Prowl one of the best figures. If you have a um, movie one barricade, and you have like classics Prowl, they kind of make a good like foe to have if you're making like stop motion stuff. I don't know. I do like Prowl. But here he is in car mode, which I will take this off of this so you can see car mode. But there is his car mode, and I'll plug that back in. So here's car mode, it run pretty good. Just pegs into either hole. And I guess this is the after button. But it does roll. It kinda drags a little, not much. I don't know, I like it. This you can just push that up. But here would be like where the little person sits and drives. He's a police car, ergo prowl and a race car. I do like him though. Definitely overall recommendation. 
eight out of, at eight out of ten. Get him if you like the Energon. I got him because I like Energon. I like the whole Super Link versions. But anyway, I guess that's it. So there's Transformers Energon Prowl. And I hope you guys like this review. Subscribe, like, comment. And there he is, guys. See you guys later.